You can tell this is very Christmassy by the Christmas color candles in the background. <laughs> hey internet, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I'm in control of my life, which is why it's almost 10 o'clock and this is now when I'm finally getting a chance to film things. And basically because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and do just a stream of consciousness video because you guys seem to be okay with that and it's what's gonna work today. The first reason why I'm late is because today was the very last day of my fourth semester of grad school, so I had an assignment due tonight, so I had to make sure to write that. Uh, today I wrote my final teaching philosophy papers. I had to write a paper on like the things that are most important to me when teaching and I had already written a draft of it so I just had to finalize it. That is done now. I am now done with that class and I only have one more semester left of grad school and that feels kind of weird. This was another one of those like quiet endings where you press submit and then it's over with. So now I'm done with homework for the next couple weeks, which is really nice. I'm still going into the school three times this next week, but one of them is for a field trip day, so I'm real pumped about that. Another reason why I'm filming this video kind of late is that I finished submitting my paper and then I got an email from one of my students in the college course that I'm instructing, and this is the last day for them too. And this student sent me an email about something that she has to have due at 11.45 tonight, and it was a question that was easily Googleable. It absolutely baffles me that there are college freshmen who feel like they should email their professor a question first before trying to Google it. Now, like, I'm open, I'm gonna answer all of our students' questions, I just don't understand why you wouldn't Google if a nested if function is a function on its own, or if it's just two if functions, one inside the other. I don't Clearly that was a thing that's been on my mind that I needed to get off my chest. Actually, my initial plan for this video today was to talk a little bit about my mental health. A lot of times when people talk about their mental health here on YouTube, it's a bad thing and they're like basically saying I'm sorry that I haven't done this because I haven't been feeling well or whatever, and I've done those videos. I did the glitch video this summer, I did a different video called The Girl in the Gloom the summer previous to that. So like whenever I'm feeling kind of at my lowest points, that's when I'll make those kind of videos, and yeah, so I've done that. But on the other side of things, I don't know that I necessarily make videos to say like, things are good, things are going well. And that's kind of how I've been feeling lately. Basically, one of the things that happens to me is that I will go through these really low troughs sometimes where I feel very little motivation. I feel kind of like a little bit listless and hopeless and, you know, it's hard to get the motivation to get up and do things. I get very withdrawn and kind of stay away from social situations and my work kind of suffers and it's not a good time and so that was one of the things that was happening over July. However, over the fall and definitely during the month of December, I felt like for the most part things have been good. I have had my bad days just like anyone else has, but I have felt fairly motivated. I mean, I'm doing a video every day. I have been very much into getting out of the house and going to do things and doing some new things. Like, today I went to a place that I had never been to before by myself and got lunch. And I know that sounds silly, I, I say this all the time, but it's a big step. It's a big thing for me, and so it's exciting to see that. Um, it's exciting to want to get out of bed in the morning, you know, when you've had these experiences where you really don't, like where it takes every ounce of self-control in your body to do that. And if you've had any experience with feeling in this way, sometimes it's really hard to pinpoint, like, what causes the ups and what causes the downs, like what is the impetus for this? And so I can't really say what that is. I can say that it really helps to have these challenges, it helps to have the motivation of knowing that I need to post something every day, which I said before in my challenges video. I think that the season helps, I think that Christmas is really exciting for me, it's a time when I feel a lot of love and I feel a lot of joy and just like good feelings, like sitting in that coffee shop yesterday and listening to the music and having like this good drink and this good food. Like I just was sitting there with this general feeling of happiness and goodwill and like it just, it was good. It was good. <laughs> and another thing is that I haven't felt that same social isolation which uh, often accompanies me feeling really down and 
So that'll be times where there's like a lull in how frequently I'm talking to a lot of the people that I'm closest with or I feel like I've not been able to see anybody frequently and that's not been the case lately. I feel like I've had the opportunities to see all of the people that I care about or at least talk to all of the people that I care about in meaningful ways and so it's made me feel good. I guess I wanted to take the time to appreciate this moment of feeling well and encourage you guys to do that as well. Like don't take it for granted and it's really easy to like when you're feeling bad dwell on that so when times are good it's good to like grasp onto that and be like this is a good thing and the honest truth is like I don't know how long the good feelings will last I don't know when the next time is that I'm gonna hit a, a trough I just know that right now I'm happy and I'm excited for all of the things that are happening in the next couple months and in the next year and there are scary things and there are things that, you know, aren't so great, but for the most part, like, my brain has been able to focus on the good ones and it's really nice. I think this is what Nyla would call a very self-indulgent vlog because I've just talked about myself. Uh, so I apologize. Let me know down in the comments how you are doing. You don't have to get into details. Just tell me, are you doing well? Are you not doing so well? Can I give you a hug? Can I give you the good feel hugs? I mean, I'll give you a hug if you're feeling good too. I like hugs. Hugs are a thing that I don't get to do much lately and hugs are one of my favorite things. So, if you ever see me in person, give me a hug if you like hugs. I don't know, hugs. What, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I even talking about? <sighs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh.